Всем здорово нахуй, добро пожаловать. Today we're going to be doing another match breakdown. I know you guys liked the last couple of videos. And this is sort of a combination of both. It's a comeback against trash talkers. And it's informative on how you should play Mirage. Not that I'm a Mirage pro. So if I say something wrong, please correct me down in the comments. This game we played against a five man of people from Denmark. And we were playing with one random on the team because we queued with four people. And let me tell you. If you QS4 and face it free, you're gonna have a bad time. But luckily, we got an amazing teammate whose name is Crazy, and he speaks perfect English. Yeah, yeah, you also speak English? Shit. Uh, what okay. did you say? Okay, okay, you speak English. Good, good. The nice thing about starting on T-side Mirage is that if you have Furious and a Deagle, and you combine the two together, you get this incredible one Deagle mi Okay, even though we died, this play works like 50% of the time. Blah, 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 we all end up dying and stuff. Anyone who has played or plays Mirage on Face It knows that the anti-eco on the second round is the most dangerous round of all because the T's just start one digging everyone. I don't even know why this stuff happens. It's, it's just Face It. And we totally could have won this round, but it was just kind of a bot play by both teams. And we did deserve to lose this round, honestly. Uh, Spice here does some nice crosser placement in Connector, can get an instant headshot on the guy. Crazy misses his 1D, can also gets taken out by Spice, and now it's a 1v2 for Tolga from bench. He kills the guy's stairs, and Zik here misses his second Deagle shot, so otherwise it would have been like an instant kill. And he's just spamming the box, I don't know what he's doing, he's like reloading stuff, and then he smokes the bomb and he fakes it, it's just dumb shit all around. And somehow Tolga fell for it, and we ended up losing the round. So a pretty bad play from both teams. Guys, I gotta be honest here, I'm doing this match review, but looking back at this match, I just see us doing stupid shit. Like, we have the smokes, so we could have done an A execute, but instead Tolga here runs out really fast, gets the entry, and then we decide, okay, you know what, fuck smokes, let's just run out A. And then we run out A, and we just get fucking, sh no, not really shut down. I mean, they, they flash through uh, into Sandwich, that was a nice flash, gets a nice kill. And then we do some trades here, I get a kill, Kingscar gets a kill. Obviously, there's still a guy in shadow, so I start spraying the smoke and I hit this nasty ass spray transfer. That was that was really sexy. King's car gets taken down, and again, it was a really close round. So in the fourth round, we get to another 1v1, mainly because Furious got some nice one deeks on the guy's con and stairs. He dies in CT. Tolga gets the one deek on the guy jungle, and now it's a 1v1 versus Sig again. And I don't know what that smoke is by Zig. I guess it somehow works. So this is gonna be the first round we win. Furious gets an entry on window and then Crazy just dry peeks out ramp. Fidia was not expecting that at all. I don't even know why this guy had a bison. We kill my palace, we can kill the guy's CT. Smoke off CT, Molly in jungle so he doesn't peek from jungle. I'm just holding the angle here. We can get the bomb down and no way they're gonna be able to retake this. Furious gets another kill on the guy top mid and that's gonna be pretty much our first round. And you see what's happening here again? They have five deagles and you know what I told you about face it on Deagles? Well, it just keeps happening. So currently 5-1. We have sort of a full buy. Only Tolga here on the Deagle. Furious just runs out because, you know, that's what he does. He goes for the entry. We get the entry. And after he gets the entry, we pretty much just get shut down. Nades, headshots, good cross replacement. I missed that shot there. This guy was too fast for me, like fucking Sonic. And then you have me left in a 1v4 and I end up missing the guys stairs and we lose again. At this point, you know, we just sort of give up. We were like, okay, you know what? Fuck this shit. Let's just rush B. <laughs> and unfortunately, they had three on B and a guy flanking. So we pretty much had no chance here. And Tolga on the A side with the lurk. Gets one tapped. <laughs> New York, are you okay? I'm perfectly fine, guys. I'm just having a bad T side. It's normal. It's 7-1, Furious goes out A without any nades. Well, even if we had nades, we wouldn't have used them anyways. Uh, one gets taken out in top mid, one gets taken out in a site, one gets taken out in palace. And now I'm left in a 1v4 situation. Can I get one? Can I get two? Yes, I can. And now there's an opper still on shorts. I try and shoulder peek the guy's shorts, but he somehow rotated to lower mid and I get taken down. You lose without gotcha. Good luck here, friend. The guy just jinxed it for his entire team because I can get a kill connector. King Scar can get a kill on B-Apps. And we're currently in a 4v3. I'm on 2 HP. Not like I can do much here. There's only one guy on B though. It's the guy with the AWP. He's holding the angle. And Tolga crouches under the AWP. Like, that's 
500 IQ Furious gets taken down in connector and we're now down to a 3v3. The bomb's obviously rotating towards underpass into B apps because Tolga is already all the way pushed up here. He knows there's an opera somewhere. In the meantime, there's another guy rotating onto B. The opera gets taken down, but he wasn't expecting the second guy. The second guy gets a kill. And now, if you check the minimap here, you can see his teammate rotating back towards A. That's because Fida, the guy who plays B, called that there were no more steps at B. And in his mind, we could be rotating back towards A. Obviously, we're not going to be doing that. We're complete idiots. So <laughs> we get the B site here. Kickstar gets the nice pre-fire. And, well, we know the last guy is going to be rotating from A. So, I, you know what? I just, I'm just going to peek uh, kitchen here. I'm 2 HP anyways. And we get the second round. I don't know what's going on here, but the CT decided to push around with a shotgun. No flash, nothing. Goes in dry, ends up dying. And then you have Fida here, also playing close ramp. They had no one holding Palace. So, I don't know what the thought process behind that was. But it worked. It worked. And once again... I am completely confused by what is going on. You can see one of the CTs pushing all the way into T-spawn. And they're stacking towards B for some reason. While not paying attention to mid at all. So we get a site for free. You know, we gotta you gotta check the angles of course. You can see Tolga here checking some angles. You know, checking, checking, check, check, check. Okay, check. Gotta check Ninja of course. We still lost this round by the way. And what do you do when you lose a round? You let Furious do the entries. He gets a nice entry on that guy. Just like all the other rounds, we get the entry and we end up all dying one by one. And once again, it's me left in a 1v3 situation here against Zick, Fitta and Spice. They had no idea where I was, so I got the site for free. On top of that, I have the bomb on me, so I can just easily get the bomb down here. Fitta decides to go for the wall bang. I fake the bomb plan. I kill Fitta, and now it's a 1v2. I fake the bomb again, and I take down Zig. Zig was not expecting that in the slightest. Now, after I get the bomb down, I decide to jump towards CT and play from there. And instead of holding the angle, Spice was going for the window jump, so I got the jump over to CT for free. Now, the after plant is in my favor because Spice has no clue where I'm playing from. And I know where he needs to defuse the bomb. However, I throw a flash. So now he knows I'm playing from CT. And instead of taking the fight, he decides to smoke the bomb and stick the defuse. I obviously expect him to fake it. So I'm shooting the right side. Then I'm like, okay, you know what? He might be holding the bomb. And I spam the smoke and I kill him. And what happens again? The people buy deagles. They stacked A. And seeing as we have no one towards B, we had no clue it was going to be an A stack. We still decided to go A. And luckily, we managed to get the kills. I was just retrieving the bomb here. At this point, we pretty much know it's an A stack, but seeing as we're making all the kills, we might as well just push it at this point. So we knew it was an A stack. And of course, I have to go plant a bomb. And I'm like, check Palace. I know he's going to be Palace. And everyone's like, no, he's probably not Palace. And what do you know? He was in Palace. If buying up four deagles does not work, make sure to buy five because apparently that does work. For the pistol round, we did a 3 1 1 setup. So that means 3B, 1 mid, and 1 A. Uh, you can see me moving towards shorts here and shifting. And I'm now listening for footsteps. I heard no footsteps, so I cannot call it B. I was planning on peeking mid, but then I heard them rush out. So I'm like, okay, you know, it's, it's going to be a B rush. One guy does some weird B hops out of the window. Uh, we just did a great job of holding this, to be honest. And then last guy should be coming from mid. And I just want to have that guy easy. I don't even have to say anything anymore. This is just, this is Mirage in a nutshell. Epic. Now, this guy's been waiting in Palace for like the last 40 seconds. So, obviously, he's waiting for his teammate to rotate from somewhere. I was expecting him to come from B. And he did come from B. So, that's a free kill for me. And a nice pre-fire on Palace to close out the round. Ego frags. The first buy round versus buy round was really unlucky for our side. Elo here jumps out of the window. And he made some noise jumping down from window. Kingscar, however, did not hear this. And... Elo manages to get a free kill on the shorts and he manages to kill Kingscar and now they have the B-bomb side for free and we ended up losing this round. And even though we did lose that round, we still had enough money to buy up weapons, including two ops, which is pretty nice for the CT side. Uh, crazy here going close round with the Mag 7. One of the T's decide to push out solo, rap, no flash, nothing, kind of weird. And then Fida does the same thing from Palace. You can really tell that that was like a no brain play because three of the T's are just capping and ramp waiting behind the smoke, which is obviously not going to help them trade kills.
Round 22, the T's decide to go for some mid control. They managed to kill Furious, and now you can actually see some teamwork coming out from the T side here. Spice flashing in his teammate onto shorts. Tolga dick have flashed, and now they pretty much have short for free. They kill the guy B apps, and then they can kill the guy kitchen. There was no team play on our side, and this is how we lost. You might not have noticed, but I'm now no longer playing mid, and I'm playing from shorts. I white peak onto short, get a free kill on Elo. And I'll fit it here, walking out of ramp. Uh, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Uh, no teammate is trading him. There's no team play. They just peek one by one and die one by one. Now, this round, the T's decide to actually do some team play. They're lining up their smokes. They're doing the flashes, etc. Furious is already flanking from B, so we know, obviously, it's going to be A. Uh, Soul guy here hits a lag shot, throws a nice nade. And we as a CT are pretty composed compared to the T's who just look like they don't know what they're doing. They're getting shot from every angle. They don't know where to look. I'm pushing into Sandwich. Furious is flanking. They were just completely lost that round. Here's a quick aerial view from what just happened. You can see the smokes landing. We already have four on A since we knew it wasn't B. And the T's were just so lost there. Looking everywhere, dying everywhere. And uh, yeah, that was a nice clean round by us. Here you can see the T's going for another B rush. Crazy calling that it's B. Our entire team rotating like crazy. There's pretty much only one guy on the B bomb side. As soon as they got that kill, they should have gotten the bomb down. But instead, Tall guy here picking off people one by one. Zick here, no clue what he's doing, just running around. Somehow gets two kills. No clue how that happened, but luckily there's me to clutch the round out and we win it. I'm pretty sure this is the first time the T's have brought out ops. Not just one, no. They have brought out two ops to see if they can make something work. Elo gets overconfident and decides to push the smoke in short. Gets killed by Tolga. He trades the op towards Furious since Furious is low HP and he needs that op. Otherwise, he's just going to get one tapped on the body, of course. Now, Tolga here gets a kill on the mid. And his teammate wants to trade him, of course. He's speaking into A-side. So I'm thinking, okay, well, let me just push him short since he's looking A-side anyways. I get a free kill. And now the last two T's are moving the way towards the B-bomb site. We don't want to give them any chance whatsoever of killing us. So we both play really passive. I'm playing an angle where they cannot kill me unless they jump down from B-apps. Same goes for the position. Kingscar is playing from. He's playing from Forest. Another angle that cannot be seen unless you actually jump down. And now they both jump down and they get crossfired. So again, they had no chance of winning this round. The T's are on an eco again. Furious has a nice spawn for mid. So what does he do? He rushes mid. And it actually works out quite nice. He was expecting a flash. They didn't flash. Gets a nice spray down. Sadly, does not connect on the on the ace there. That could have been a good YouTube clip. Too bad, though. I clean up the last two. And now 13-14. The T's decided to do something that worked before. They want to go for a fast B split up shorts and up B apps. Uh, Furious decides to rush mid again. And actually catches someone off guard. And now this is where the T's mess up. Instead of pushing together, they push as a team of two and two. So this allows Kingscar to just peek the angles one by one, get some damage out, and he gets even a second kill before the trade comes out. In the meantime, Furious has already rotated towards shorts. He smokes off that corner so he can move into the smoke all the way to the right. So Zik isn't expecting him and he gets a free kill from behind. I'm pretty sure they were quite tilted at this point, as I can tell by the fact that the bomb is still in T-spawn while they're trying to split A. Sick here, trying to go out connector, gets one kill in jungle, and then misses the headshot on the guy peeking from default. And that will be the end of the game.